Did you ever watch Inside Out and think, how do I make that hair? Then this video's for you. So this video is a tad late, uh, just a smidge, but it's here now so we can forget the past and look to the future. So I'll only be covering the shader in this video and not the styling of the hair, uh, because one, I'm not a hairstylist, and two, there are a lot better videos out there that cover that, uh, but you'll be able to download this below. Uh, so it is made up of two particle systems. The first are the main locks, and the second are these stray strands because that's how it looks in the movie. But onto the shader. So this was a hard one to figure out. I mean a really hard one. The first thing we are going to do is add a diffuse BSDF shader and we are going to plug it in, plug it in. What we need is a nice blue base color to work off of. Uh, and as you can see, we're already 90% there. Uh, so now might be a good time to relax and take a coffee break. But if you feel like being a workaholic, you can keep going. So from looking at Joy's hair, we can see little particles in it. Uh, now at first this seems like a problem because Blender can't actually have particles that emit particles. Legend has it, there's an ancient version of Blender that was once able to do this. Uh, but luckily we are able to simulate it. First, we need to make glowing speckles. Uh, and before we can make glowing speckles, we need to make the color that the glowing speckles are going to be. Now, what does all that mean? Just stay with me. Add a glossy shader and an emission shader. Set both to a nice light blue. Add a mix node and, well, mix them. And if you check how this looks, it looks, uh, frankly, how you'd expect it to look. But don't worry, we're going to mix it with our deep blue. What we are going to do is basically have the hair glow only in tiny little areas. Uh, so we need to make a, a special mask. Excuse me, a speckle mask. A special speckle mask uh, to do that. So we need to add three nodes to do this. A texture coordinate, a Voronoi texture, and a color ramp. Plug, plug, plug. Make sure you plug the object option from the texture coordinate. This will make it just map onto the hair as one continuous object and not just sprout it out from the roots or something. That would look dumb. Actually, that would look kind of cool, come to think of it. You can plug it into the back of the diffuse to see what is going on. Uh, but this isn't the final result. What we're going to do is now mix the diffuse with the glossy glow thing that we made. Then we are going to plug the color ramp into the mix factor, the one that's mixing our dark and our light. Uh, then just adjust the color ramp till the specs are the right size. Make sure the Voronoi is set to cells, and scale it way up. Uh, something like 95 worked for me. Uh, so this is looking really bad. As you can see, the specs are way too dense. Uh, what we're going to need to do is make another mask, but this time we are going to mask out the specs that we just made. Uh, it's a mask for the mask, Massception. Duplicate the Voronoi and color ramp, Replug the object output and add a color mix node. Set it to subtract. Plug the first one on top and the second one, the subtract D, onto the bottom. Bring the scale of our second Voronoi way down. Let's try something like five and see how that looks. Uh, so this looks bad, uh, but it's a different type of bad. Uh, we're going to repeat this step because the goal uh, is to have just a light coat of glowing sprinkles. It needs to look fairly random. What I did was I just set the scale of our new one to 15. I pushed the color ramp extremes to their ends, uh, and that will suffice for now. If you look at the movie, uh, you'll also notice that her hair gets lighter as we go toward the tips. This is actually really easy to accomplish. We're just going to duplicate this emission and bump it up a tad to say five. Uh, then we're going to add a mix shader node. Uh, note that it's different from the color mix node. One mixes colors and the other is mix shaders. Uh, duplicate the color ramp, and finally we can target just the tips by adding a hair info node. Plug in the intercept of the hair info node into the color ramp. Uh, and now you can see that we're isolating the tips. They're just reversed. So we can swap these, stretch them out a little bit. And then we can bring down the brightness of the white if we want, which will lessen the influence of the emission. Something pretty subtle like that. This is getting there. Uh, now we need to look at something else. And this was the tricky part. If you look at the movie, You'll notice, in addition to the overall specs, there are specific speckles that follow along the strands of the hair. Uh, now this seems like it would be difficult to do, but it's actually deceivingly simple, so stay with me. We are going to duplicate everything except for the output node. We are going to move it down. Then in the one cluster we just duplicated, we are going to mute both of the subtraction nodes. And so if we look at this, we have the dense speckles again. So now we have two versions of the shader, a low density speckle and a high density speckle. What we need to do is just mask the denser one to follow along certain strands. So we're going to add another mix shader and mix these two together, then duplicate the first Voronoi and color ramp we made. And whenever we don't set its texture coordinate, it will just sprout out from the roots outward. 
along the strands, which means whenever we bring it over and plug it into the factor as a mask and slightly adjust the color ramp, boom. There you go. Although it's faint, you can see the uh, random scatter along the strands. Now it's just about there, but we do need one more thing. You'll also notice in the film that the particles tend to get denser the further down the strands they go. Uh, we already have this dense version, so we can use that. Uh, all we have to do is add another mix, bring the denser version from the other, then bring the hair info and color ramp node we made earlier, plug it into the factor, and there you have it. Again, thank you for all those who waited so long. Uh, you can download the hair file below, and thanks for watching.